G'day folks, welcome to this week's video. This week we're going to cover the three tombs that I had the opportunity to travel around in Huawei. There are quite a lot of tombs, these are just three of the uh, more popular ones that I got to go to. So this video will kick off shortly with me uh, showing some walkthroughs of those tombs. Uh, just a note on the colours on the slide. Um, yellow on blue are the historical royalty colours in uh, Vietnam, which is why I've chosen them for uh, this little intro slide. Don't forget to click uh, like and subscribe, guys. Clicking the like button really helps me uh, distribute this video to like-minded people like yourselves. So I'd really appreciate a, a like click if you can. Anyway, let's kick off into the first one. Let's go to Tuduk. So. Okay, so uh, this is Tuduk's tomb. Um, just arrived here. This is the entry point. Nice little uh, lake. And a little stone uh, man-made island over there. Don't think you can get to it, but it does show that there is actually um, a little building on it. I'm guessing they would have gone to it by boat. It's only a very small uh, little lake. I'm not going to do direct view all the time, but I just thought it might be worth a start doing it this way. Um, and we'll see what we think. All right. Actually, um. Be interesting in your comments in the comment section below just to make a comment on whether or not director view is actually something that's useful to you. Do you really want to see my ugly mug all the way around? Uh, I've got to put the shades on so uh, uh, it's a bit bright out. But yeah, it's, uh, it'll be interesting to see how people think about the director view because you don't see a lot of people doing it. Anyway, I'm actually going to switch out of director view now though. Quick little return to director's view. I don't know if you can see it on the video. I'm just going to zoom in. So excuse my hand coming over. Um, one day I'll get an advanced thing. Oh, I can't zoom in. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There's huge fish in the water there. Um, I don't know what sort of fish they are, but uh, that's really cool. They're massive. Probably can't go fishing here though. Can't have dinner here tonight.
Okay, so back to a little bit of picture in picture director's view just for a walk in. This is Ming Na. Um, I think I said that right. Uh, Ming Na tomb. So the, the tomb of Emperor Ming Na, I'm assuming that must mean. Uh, it's a lot bigger than the uh, Tuduk one I just went to, which was very small. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But very small. Just panning around, you can see these elements that obviously are outside the compound itself um, that you probably don't get to walk past and have a good look at. There's looks like there's multiple gates. There's a gate there, there's another gate further up. Cool little bridge. Dude on a scooter, because there's always a dude on a scooter somewhere. Um, so yeah. So let's uh, walk into here and uh, I'll Again, I won't run the um, direct view uh, while I'm walking around in here, and uh, I'll switch over to the, new cam uh, the other camera view. So to wrap things up for this video, the entire day cost approximately 62 Australian dollars. Uh, that incorporated uh, hiring a driver for the day and he basically drove me to each of the tombs and waited for me at those tombs. Um, and also uh, approximately seven Australian dollars to enter each of the three tombs. So totaling up to $62, well and truly, sorry, $63 well and truly worth uh, doing. If you get the chance, uh, I strongly recommend it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.